Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Technology. So I'm fine. I hope you guys are also doing well. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to enable or disable remote desktop protocol using your PowerShell. So you just need to follow me. So first of all, let me show you guys. If I'll go to my computer and after that, right click on this PC, go to properties and here I need to click on change settings. And as you can see, a remote desktop is showing right now disable. So now I will cancel this one and I will open PowerShell in my computer. So just go to start menu and type over there power then cell. Now right click on Windows PowerShell and click on run as administrator. Now click on yes. And once you have get this power cell window, you have to copy paste few commands from my video description. So I will provide the command to my video description or else you can type a manually on your power cell. So the command is, here is the first command as you can see to enable remote desktop on your computer. So here as you can see, a value is one. So if you want to enable remote desktop on your Windows 10 computer, so you have to put the value to zero. If you want to disable, then you have to put here one. So let me show you guys if I'll put over there zero and as you know, the remote desktop connection is already visible on my computer as you can see. So now just right click over there, just copy paste that command on PowerShell and after that press enter. Once you have uh, put this command on your PowerShell, after that close this window, once again if I'll go to change settings and go to the remote, as you can see now it is showing allow remote desktop. So same way if you want to disable, you have to put here the value one. So copy paste once again the command and let me check once again, change setting the remote. So now as, as you can see it's showing disabled. Also if you want to enable remote desktop from your firewall, then you have to put this command. So if you want to disable, then you have to put over there disable or else you have to put over there enable. So if I want to enable, then I have to copy paste this command. And if you want, if I want to disable, then I have to put here disable. Just you have to replace this command. And after that, it will disable from your firewall. So I hope this small video will really help for you. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button. And if you have any quiz or question, then comments down below. I will see you guys on the next one next video. Take care.